So what kind of cheese do you take with you to ride a horse? The Mars Caponi, of course. So, a delightful cheese Friday. Smoked black pepper, white cheddar by Tillamook. So, uh, this is a nice little cheese. It's an early cheddar. So, it's still <coughs> soft and uh, so semi-soft. It's still, I mean, it's a semi-hard cheese, but it's, as far as cheddars go, it's pretty soft and creamy. Uh, you can see it's very generous with the black pepper. The smoked black pepper, I might add. Uh, obviously it's a cheddar, so there's not a rind on it, and you can see the lovely, uh, lightly cream colored, uh, as opposed to the stark white of goat cheese, so it's a cow's milk cheese, as it should be, and it just has like a really lovely soft cheddar smell, you know, that little bit of nuttiness and that, uh, I don't know what a good descriptor is, but very cheesy. And then you get like a nice little pepper, not enough to like make you sneeze or choke or anything like that, but like a little bit of the, the scent. And it really just smell, it's really quite mellow. And then like a little bit of almost like, I would say a hickory sort of smell. Mm. So let's give this a slice. Beautiful. Look at the black pepper all the way throughout. And of course, a taste. Mm. It's really complex. Mm. It's like a really super cheesy cheddar. I know, I know, I could use better words, but it's, mel it's mellow. So it's not like an extra sharp punch you and because it's not aged or anything like that, there's not crystallization. However, you get a lot of texture from the uh, peppercorns. And it's kind of like, it's very uh, creamy, cheddar forward, but not punch you in the mouth. And then you get like a nice pepper flavor, but not a bitey pepper. So that's really nice. And just a little bit that lingers in the back is like a peppery herbaceousness. Again, not a stingy pepper, but it definitely perme permeates. So that creamy cheesiness kind of blends with that. Excellent. Uh, this is part of the Tillamook Farmers Collection. So they have like a couple specialty flavor cheeses in there. And so if you see them, I recommend grabbing them. You know, you don't have to like stock up. It's not like one of those things that you got to like go run and buy it all and, and try and figure out what to do with it. But it's definitely something nice. If you're going to have it with a, as like a side, it really lends itself to a, uh, a, a fruity sort of uh, bend. So like your sangrias, which I know we don't have a lot on keto because they're too sugary, but that's the flavor profile or something really herbaceous, uh, like your uh, herbed, uh, herbed olive, olives in oil. You know, things like that, uh, a lot of, it would be lended itself really well to like a, a heavy rosemary and sage blend. Maybe on like some rosemary crackers, you know, the, those fat snacks make a rosemary salt cracker. That would be delightful with this. So there you go. Happy Cheese Friday. See you soon. Bye-bye.